Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this uh, very inclement but unseasonably warm mid-October 2023 day we're doing a quick walk around video on this freshly arrived and hot to trot absolutely beautiful 2004 Auto Sleeper Duetto. Now we don't always sell vans of this age and it's, it's not because we don't want to it's just because they don't pass muster with us but this one is a top top quality uh, luxury British built van conversion from UK's oldest motorhome manufacturer and it's only had two owners from new so it's two owners in 19 years so it's got a brilliant provenance it's one we took in part exchange we know the previous owner and it's in really really good condition obviously it's not a new van but i would say it's it's exceptionally good anyway i think it's lovely so looking very very smart in, and modern in this uh, very rare sort of gray blue metallic most of them were metallic silver or sometimes white so you very rarely see this color it's got some really smart five spoke ford alloys on it as well um so auto sleeper they're britain's oldest motorhome manufacturer they've been going um for since the 60s maybe even the 50s in Willersley in the in the Cotswolds and they still build the auto sleeper symbol which is the Peugeot based version of this van today um, so having a little look at the window sheet on this one so it's an auto sleeper duetto from 2004 uh, it's got the toilet and shower three seat belts it's not a four berth it's a two berth I got that wrong two berth um, 3280 maximum weight with a decent payload you can drive it on a car license on the tough as old boots Ford Transit 2.4 turbo diesel that's Ford's own engine and that will tell you that this is the rear wheel drive one which has its advantages for towing and going off soft ground and also gives you that 2.4 which is really really tough it's done 89,000 miles but it's got an extensive service history it's only 5.44 meters long so it's not a big thing narrow body 2.13 wide about 2.72 tall that is approximate price is 19.95 now i've just uh done what i would recommend any of you do and i've googled auto sleeper duetto i've had a look at the um seven or eight of them for sale at the moment and this one uh, for a dealer sold one um stacks up superbly on price at 19.95 and that of course comes with a full hybrid prep we treat all of our vans the same be they 120,000 or 20,000 they'll all get a new mot a major engine service we'll do the cam belt if it's within uh, a year of needing doing this is actually a chain driven engine um full habitation service full valet and anything under 20,000 retail gets a six month warranty but that is an in-house warranty with us so we're going to cover everything this left the auto sleeper factory with of any sort of major degree obviously fuses wiper blades and stuff we don't but anything of any degree turbochargers battery chargers cookers all sorts fridges heating systems uh, gearboxes we'll cover it all for six months out of our pocket and you'll find all the other dealer provided warranties um won't cover much on a van of this age but we really do so having a look at the condition of it, it's a lovely thing so we've got the odd age related marks a couple of stone chips been touched up on the bonnet that's fine a little bit of wear on the ford badge to be expected um, we've got the nice black um, practical bumpers the graphics are in really good order because these will normally suffer and go sort of crispy but they're not it's got those really nice um, Ford alloys with I think 16 inch tires on them I'd have to check that but they certainly look bigger uh, bigger than the 15s um, really nice the integrated fuel cap there we've got double glazed windows all the way around it's something auto sleepers lost in more latter years they started to use single glazed Peugeot window vans but these have got proper opening double glazed windows so I think that makes it better than the new ones it's also got really nice looking black Fiamma awning which is really really smart underslung fresh and waste water tank so this has got all the same kit as a coach built van you've got a manual pull out step Duetto's always had a manual step you couldn't fit an electric one on it so you just pull it out but that's more reliable anyway Thep Thep oh gas locker there sorry Thep set toilet locker here um nice sort of black plastic panel in to break up the metal around the back you've got a step that was all the sleeper factory fitted step for getting in and out the back door you've also got a bike rack and it's got a reversing camera which the previous owner fitted so opening up the back door so coming inside these are actually glass windows behind there but um previous owner has permanently fitted these uh, insulating bits but you could get some removable ones if you wanted to get more light in at the back but you don't really need it loads of storage pockets all the way around so you've got the end kitchen 
front lounge classic British van conversion layout which we'll have a look at from the inside we want to wind the handles back there let's just lift that up just in case I don't want to damage that so if you're not carrying bikes of course you can put chairs you can get bags boxes anything up to 35 kilos you can store on the bike rack Going around the driver's side, you've got the fridge vents for your three-way gas or mains or 12 volt when you're driving fridge freezer. Kitchen window, another lounge opening window, your fresh water fill-up point. It's a flue for your Truma gas and mains electric powered hot water system. Mains hook up and the little stubby exhaust there. You've got diesel power blown air heating with this van. Um, so that is incredibly powerful it's a bishbacker very economical runs on the diesel from your fuel tank will keep you absolutely toasty warm a couple of very minor little cosmetic cracks here yeah, only tiny on the plastic fairings there plastic gets brittle with age but it's nothing much so it's the 125 horsepower 3.3 ton one 125 horsepower was loads of power in fairness to it at the time the symbol this one next door it's the peugeot based version of the duetto um, that was 100 horsepower or 84 so the ford's got um 125 so loads of power you got central locking remote central locking as well electric windows manual mirrors power steering just five speed gearbox but it's a very long legged one Ford's original radio CD player, actually fantastic sound quality off of them, but you could replace it with a more modern unit. It's a standard double din size slot there if you want to. Um, passenger airbag, possibly, definitely a driver's airbag. Um, you got that reversing camera monitor, which is fitted on the dash. And 89.7 on the mileage. There is some relatively minor signs of wear on the driver's seat as you'd expect on a vehicle of this age but it's pretty good these are standard ford seats so of course there's a whole range of off the peg seat covers you can put over the top of that if you wanted to uh, driver and passenger seat are height adjustable so this van's just come in it's not been clean but it is a very clean van in fairness to it so you had it for a long long time the previous owner and the first owner had it for a long long time as well which is nice because most motor homes of this age and price bracket will have seven or eight owners which is fine there's nothing wrong with that if the van's been main dealer prepped every time it's changed hands but it's nice to see so the only thing i could really comment on the inside is the carpets are a bit grubby so if you wanted to take them out as a car carpet company we use in plimpton they can uh, whip you some new ones for an amazingly reasonable price there's a couple of little scabs of rust just on the top of the sills there there's one there there's one at the back underneath the sliding door they all do that they will be eliminated and treated along with anything else we find before we let the van go now inside we've got a front lounge so you don't have a swivel driver's seat you do have a swivel passenger seat now this will turn into a double bed so very very easy to do push that lever down this slides out backrest drops in push this lever around there down this slides out and you've got a good size double bed it's about six foot across the van and i don't know it's quite a wide bed that four foot six four foot eight wide so it's a good size double bed now from new they had you might just be able to see that lip on the back of the seat there so from new they had infill cushions which would drop in there and in the corresponding place on here to allow you to make single beds i can't guarantee they're still with it we're going to find out as we go around the van so there's a couple of tables with the van which goes into these table leg positions here you can use one or both uh, as your uh, will decrees it's a very light van and i'm six foot and i've got a bit of headroom to spare you got this lovely big hecky roof light plus the two windows as well um, and a smaller skylight and another lot of windows there so all the windows have got blinds and fly screens really well finished you can't get this you don't get this with cheaper vans there's no exposed metal you've got the soft touch leatherette ceiling these storage things everywhere your bedding you can put up there that is cavernous over the cab biggest over cab thing of any van conversion i've seen you've also got storage which is nice and easy to access underneath of here yeah look at that there's your single bed infill cushions that's nice always nice and everything's sort of still with a van so that will allow you to um take your bed into a single bed or even a longitudinal double bed which means you can get out easier so that's a really good feature on a van of this size so from memory you're, you can also lift lift this up to access the storage it's to, so that is if i'd move the top cushion really easy so if you're not using 
the single beds you can leave one to three of those cushions behind there's also storage underneath of here as well which I can't do so kitchen you got a slightly dated looking but very effective full oven color coded in blue that's the only thing that's dated about it lovely condition a really really nice condition this has just come in we've not touched it so you've got three gas burners uh, separate grill separate oven a blue sink again it's a bit dated but quality nicer quality than the newer ones nice worktop there that goes over the top of it we've got a very simple control panel with just battery gauges for your habitation and your vehicle battery off of there fresh water tank water pump on off lights on off control for your diesel heating system a mains electric socket for a kettle and a 12 volt socket for anything you want to run from your leisure battery that's a two pin one you can get an adapter for that into the more common cigarette lighter type one really good quality wooden cabinet work look at how tight that hinge still is after nearly 20 years um, from new it would have had some china crockery in there they always get broken but you've got plate retaining straps to put in your own plates of choice same one up there as well and then more kitchen storage down here remember this is 5.4 meters so that is more or less the same size as a range rover in length wardrobe Decent sized wardrobe, so you've got your table legs, hanging rail, a couple of hooks been added in there. That's your gas locker accessible from the outside underneath of it. And then your table wise, so you've got a big table there, so that can go in the middle, so you can have four of your dining. And a smaller table over there, which you can put there for just two of you to dine, so that's quite nice. Now into the bathroom, so you wouldn't necessarily expect a 5.4 metre van to fit a full toilet and shower in, but the duettos did. So you open up your door there, you've got this panel which will come across and block in that space there so you can actually use the whole rear of your van as a dressing area or a drying area and still have privacy which is a really neat idea. You've got a curtain to come across there to give you privacy if you're doing that. Of course you don't need it if you leave these insulating um, bits on the rear windows. Thetford bench toilet, big grab handle there, shower very light in here thanks to your, your window and your opening skylight and your big LED light good old auto sleeper factory fitted soap dispenser and a pull down sink with a hot and cold tap and that will with a bit of wiggling won't pull out to be your shower because your shower's over there of course which is better than using this as a shower like some of the vans do and then storage is taken up with this little glass cabinet above there which you need two hands to open so that's her, I think this is a cracking van, 1995 this, so remember that's MOT, engine service, warranty, full valet, all from a proper big dealer like ourselves at Highbridge, I think it's a little belter. Um, so, so 2004 Auto Sleeper Duetto, um, oof, Highbridge Motorhomes Devon, there's another plug socket down there I just noticed, uh, you can come and see us, that's the A38 South Devon Expressway there, so the M5 is just over there, at Exeter. Plymouth that way, very easy to get to, and our entrance slip road's just here. Um, so we're not deep as dark as Devon. And if you come down here, you can pick up from Somerset if it's nearest. Uh, or you can give us a call 01626 832 792. Uh, if we're out here doing videos, leave us an answer phone message, or you can ring direct on the mobile if you want 07432 662 558. Check us out on the Highbridge Caravans website. Leave a comment on this video if you want. We don't check them every day, but we do check them kind of thing. And ask us about this extremely nice 2004 Auto Sleeper Duetto at 1995. Thank you very much. Goodbye.